be seated for a while. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, a few days ago, I received a WhatsApp video clip. It was about a wedding ceremony. Inaugural wedding ceremony in a certain church. It was celebrated with all glamour and with high class professional singing. The church was decorated beyond par excellence. It was very attractive, well organized, well attended. I liked, I enjoyed the video clip. That forwarded video clip was followed with a question by my friend. Father, what is that religion? What is that religion? I had no answer to give, but replied saying, even God is asking that question, what is that religion? My dear friends, when I look at this society, look at the world at large, I feel that in the name of the religion, many have been confused, many are confused, many have been confused in the name of the religion. Not knowing whom to follow, what to follow. I'm sure that you encounter that in your own home with the millennials, with the youngsters, the type of question that they ask, the way they challenge their faith and the religion and the worship. There's a transition. There's a change of era. There is liminality you and I experience. If the Catholic Church grapple to understand and to give people God in a tangible way. At times, I struggle to answer some of the questions the youngsters pose me. Our teachings inadequate. Our catechism is inadequate. At times, our rituals are empty. That's why I said, in the name of the religion, Many are confused and have been confused, not knowing whom to follow and what to follow. You and I need to ask the question, who are we following? Are we following a human person who can promise us earthly riches? Or the divine being, Christ the Messiah, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Are we looking for the glamour and the superficiality of the religion? Look at the way we celebrate our church feasts. Amount of money we waste. Amount of empty rituals we perform. Look at the way we celebrate weddings, even funerals, with no reference or less reference to the person called Jesus. At times I feel, do we use religion? Do we use religion to feed our ego? To cater our emotional needs?
do we use religion to fulfill certain obligations? I have heard many people saying, I fulfill my Sunday obligation. Now I feel better. I feel better because I fulfill Sunday obligation. Jesus invites you and me to look for the person Jesus alone. To look for Jesus in and through our worship, let it be the Eucharist, sacraments, or our rituals. Only Jesus. He calls us to worship Jesus in spirit and truth. And that is what he said to the Samaritan woman at the well in John's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 21 onwards. He tells us what exactly is the worship. It is not the venue. It is not the site. It is not the structure that we are gathered in. But he says very clearly, in John's Gospel, chapter 4, he tells Samaritan woman, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on the mountain nor in the temple, Jerusalem. The hour is coming, is now here, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeks such as these to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Basically, Jesus tells the truth. Do you worship me in truth and spirit is a question he's asking. What is the spirit and the truth that he speaks about? Love one another as I have loved you. Is there any greater love than to lay down your life for the sake of your brother or sister? Judge, condemn no one, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Be kind and compassionate to your brothers and sisters. Be merciful because your heavenly Father is merciful. Be generous, help those who are in need. Love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. I tell you, not seven times, seventy times seven, you must forgive your brother or sister. Be reconciled with God, not only God, but with your brother and sister, before you come to the altar to offer your gifts. Don't be a hypocrite. Worshipping the God, our Lord, in spirit and truth. And that is the true worship. That is the true religion. Let us get away from the glamour and superficiality of the religion. Because they do not liberate us. They will enslave us but only the spirit and the truth will liberate you and me. Let this be our prayer during this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.